You are starting to grind lead code, but you are overwhelmed by this massive list of questions and you don't know where to start. Let me help you with my personal experience and give you some tips on how to effectively use lead code to successfully secure a job at a top company. Feel free to check out my interview fundamentals playlist, which contains other videos that will help you during your lead code journey. If you're starting to solve lead code questions, you might be tempted to just open the list of problems and start doing them in the order provided, but you will soon be demotivated as the second problem in the list is already a medium difficulty one and you might get stuck for hours trying to find a solution. Don't worry if you are having issues solving easy questions, we have all been through the same situation. What I suggest you do if you're just starting is to first focus on solving lead code easy questions, but not in a random order. Most lead code solutions have patterns that they all follow such as hashing, two pointers, sliding window, binary search, bit manipulation, dynamic programming, and some others as well. First, start by solving easy questions related to hashing, then move on to easy questions that follow the two pointers pattern and so on. You'll soon notice that although the exercise text was a bit different, their solutions are going to be quite similar. The trick here is to be able to spot the pattern you need. The most effective lead code problems that cover the main concepts are all included in the blind 75 list of questions. There are many other lists, but this is one of the most popular ones. The blind 75 is a famous list of lead code problems compiled by an ex-meta engineer. It contains the most asked questions during interviews in big tech companies. Being able to solve these 75 questions should help you pass 80% of the interviews out there. There is a similar list called Lead Code 75, which is based on the Blind 75 one, so you could even go for that one. The Lead Code 75 list is divided by topic and already sorted by difficulty. Start a topic from beginning to the end and that will help you see the pattern. On my channel, I have a whole playlist where I'm solving blind 75 lead code questions. Feel free to check it out and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and leave a like. Ok, so you've now selected a lead code problem from the blind 75 list. How should you now approach it? In real life interviews, you'll have about 45 minutes to solve a problem. But because you are just starting to prepare at this stage, you can follow these simple steps. Read the problem and try to understand it. Try to come up with a solution. At this stage, it doesn't matter if it is efficient or not. Help yourself with pen and paper. If you've come up with a solution, translate it to code. But if you're struggling to find a solution, Read the solutions on lead code or check out a video solution on my channel. Try and write the code again, even if you just saw it. This will help you reinforce the pattern more easily. I want to highlight here that you shouldn't be focusing on memorizing the code, but rather try to focus on the pattern of the solution. On lead code, you have problems divided by company. But what happens most of the times is that if a question is leaked into one of those lists, the company will stop asking the question for some time and move to a different one. This is where the lead code discussion section comes handy. People post from the recent experience about what they were asked during their technical interview, so I, I highly suggest you check that out. To recap, don't start with medium or hard lead code problems, instead start by solving easy ones first. Focus on the questions by topic. Learn from the solutions, whether it be from lead code solutions or from YouTube channels or anywhere online. Try and solve company specific questions by going into the lead code discussion tab. 
I have left some useful links in the description of this video. Also, let me know in the comment box below if you're using a similar approach to use lead code effectively. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Also check out my YouTube channel, you're gonna find many more lead code questions and other videos that I hope you're gonna find useful to prepare for your technical interviews. Thank you.